all right what's happening guys i've been working on a couple new videos and um it's taking a little longer than i hoped i've been super busy but we'll have them out soon but in the meantime there's some nice panfish that i've been seeing below this dam and we're going to give them a shot on the fly rod all right guys so there's a couple gates closed on this dam right now because we've had really low water and i'm i've seen a few bluegills and crappies from the top of the dam in here so i just figured i'd come and try and catch a couple on the fly rod so we'll see if we can pull a couple out of here there's some bluegills there's some crappies hanging out in these dead ends here oh there's one there's one cool cool that's a good start actually not a bad bluegill right there really pretty they are such pretty fish they got that purple on them I'm not keeping any fish tonight we're just releasing all these oh there's one feels like a little guy yep There we go, another bluegill. Just amazes me how different the colors can be on these fish. And this one looks totally different than the last one I caught. It's the exact same size, but completely different color pattern. Super pretty again. So you guys are probably wondering why I haven't been able to put out any videos the last few weeks. And the fact is life's just been super busy. I am working on a couple, like two or three different ones right now, but I just haven't been able to finish any of them. Um, and I wanna make sure they're done right. So I've been taking my time on those and um, definitely got some good stuff coming out. Kind of retooling, focusing on the ice season here, coming up and trying to make some plans for that. So um, still working on the channel, just haven't been able to put time into, into uh, videos. There's two bays here, and Jackson says they're all loaded in this one. There's one, there's one. Fish on, fish on. Jackson was right. This one looks a little bigger. This one looks a little bigger. Hey, that's a nice bluegill. Look at that beauty. <laughs> that's actually a keeper-sized bluegill right there. And look at the colors on that thing. Just all the purples. All the purples, oranges, super cool. Oh, there's one. There's one. Hey, nice. Another just absolutely gorgeous bluegill kind of cool they're hanging out just up in this these dead end tail races <clears throat> you can't really get to them unless you put waders on and wait out here there's no way to cast up in there so I think they're pretty much unharassed Jackson decided to take off the rollerblades and go fishing here so he's got a little Euro tackle B vibe on there and he should be able to catch a couple on that Oh, oh, I got one, I got one, I got one. I got a small mouth, I think. Yeah, a little, little small mouth. Oh no, it's a big crappie. There, I got him. Look at that, you guys. Just caught a nice crappie on the fly. I knew I saw a couple nicer ones in there. Jackson's trying to catch him on the V-Vibe here, but that's a beaut. He's getting bites, he just hasn't hooked one yet. Oh, there's one. There's one. Nice fat female gill on the purple scud. And uh, Jackson scores. Yeah. Nice. On the B vibe. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off here and 
fish with Jackson for a little bit and enjoy the evening, but we'll be seeing you soon in some new videos. And uh, hopefully you'll get lots of good, good stuff coming up. See you soon.